Hello friends, let us study about regression testing. Now, the main idea of regression is to ensure that enhancement or defect fixes made to the software works properly and does not affect the existing functionality. And as a result of this, modifying the code, one of the four different scenarios can occur for each fix. That means the report, the reported defect is fixed. Second, the reported defect could not be fixed in spite of making an effort. The third, the reported defect has been fixed, but something that used to work before has been changed. The reported defect could not be fixed in spite of an effort and something that was used to work earlier is not working properly. So, regression testing is another level of testing that is performed throughout the level, level throughout the life cycle of a system. So, regression testing is for every testing, every phase of testing, it is done at the end. In case of any change is accommodated, error defected for enhancement. As I said, for enhancement, it is it is defected. The defected part is corrected, is fixed, and again tested to sh make sure that it was working before normally or it's abnormally still working. So the key idea is the objective. The main objective of regression testing is to are certain that the modification has not introduced any fault. So that means for each and every phase for life cycle, in a, de in a development life cycle or in a test life cycle, in case for every phase a change is introduced, the change has to be tested first. And then this change accommodated to your product is tested first to see whether your product is behaving properly or and compared uh, with early uh, behavior that its behavior was the same or it has changed and what it has changed the four points that we read out we studied is if there are any four points by chance it is same so regression testing is done at the life cycle at the end of every life cycle process just to make sure that the small change should not hamper our entire working or functionality of a code so, next, the main objective is, so the main objective of regression testing, as we discussed earlier, now the regression testing tests are selected and they are given more importance and executed from the existing pool of test cases to show, make sure there is no unbroken software, no pieces of software laying around. So, the next is, it's an expensive process since a uh, why the regression is done is because there is a change introduced. When there is a change, when there is an unreasonable amount of initial testing is already carried out or a good number of defects has been fixed. So that fix, the defect which has been fixed is working properly. The repair part is working properly or is still creating abnormal behavior to check. So that is why regression testing is done. Now, it is one of the expensive process, yes, because it has to be paid from a pocket. Again, you have to, the defect which is found and again needs to be fixed, again need to check, test, again need to evaluate, again make to take cases. This requires them, this requires process, resources, people, and, and everything. So it's desirable to select a subset of a test case. Now there's a pool in a test case, there's a pool of tests to be carried on. So, we does not require the entire thing to be tested, the fixed one, the fixed part which is to be tested only pick up from the pool and test it with, with the minimum cost. And in the end, regression testing can be done, not can be done, is done. The regression testing is done in the unit testing phase, in the integration testing phase, in a system in acceptance testing phase. So, I hope you don't have a problem with the regression testing. Regression testing is, is abnormally done. It's done to check to see that the defect which has been fixed now working properly. So that is accommodated to the to our product, to our code. This happens 
with you also when you code, when you program, when you code something, and when you see the list of errors, for example, when you see the list of errors, and when you try to solve one by one, you just see how your program functions, how your program executes, gives you output changes or the output changes if there is a group hanging and when you fix those errors your program works uh, correctly or it works successfully so in this way we finish the objectives of regression testing we'll see the regression types regression technique in the next topic till then bye enjoy